In a crowded e-commerce landscape, making a good first impression can only take a business so far. To retain customers, brands must also keep the conversation going. By sending web push notifications with updates, offers, and reminders, online stores can do just that. Enable the Vitals Push Marketing app and you can do it too. Set up automation funnels and create custom campaigns to re-engage subscribers and build lasting relationships. First, you will want to collect contacts or subscribers as we will refer to them from now on. This can be done with the help of opt-in prompts. In other words, visitors will have to accept receiving notifications from your website. Permission will be requested via a browser prompt and users will have to accept the request in order for our app to register them as subscribers. Once visitors subscribe, they will show up in the Subscribers tab. Here, you will also be able to see your customer's location, browser details, and IDs. From the Settings tab, you can customize the first step required for opting in, specifically the opt-in prompt that is displayed before the default browser prompt. Our opt-in prompt comes in two layout options. One simulates the look of the browser prompt, but has customizable text for both the body and buttons. The other layout is a full-screen animated asset. This option can be better suited for stores with less tech-savvy visitors, as it gives clear indications of where to click in order to allow notifications. Let's return to the topic of collecting subscribers. An important aspect of this is deciding when to display the opt-in prompt on your store. Timing is essential because asking for permission too late might be a lost opportunity. This can happen if you decide to show an opt-in prompt after 10 seconds, but your shoppers only stick around for an average of 5 seconds. On the other hand, asking visitors to accept your notifications too quickly can also backfire, especially if they haven't gained enough trust in your store yet. With this in mind, it's up to you to create the perfect balance for your shoppers and transform potential rejections into conversions. Notifications can also be triggered by your visitors' actions. Instead of setting a time delay before the user is shown the opt-in prompt, you can choose for it to be triggered by number of page views. If the behavior of your shoppers usually consists of them visiting your homepage and then proceeding to your product pages, this option might work better for your store. On the other hand, if your ad campaigns bring customers directly to product pages, you might want to consider timing the opt-in prompt by number of seconds. Finally, add in your logo and customize the appearance and text of the opt-in prompt so that it matches your brand's style and tone of voice. You don't need a full list of subscribers to activate the automations. Let's see how they work. In this first tab, you will find two trigger-based push notification funnels. We'll talk about the abandoned cart recovery automation first. Note that this automation can become an essential part of any online marketing strategy. Why? Because a big percentage of customers are actually lost on their way to checkout. With 70% of carts failing to cross the finish line, activating the abandoned cart automation funnel should be an easy decision. The entire delivery funnel is controlled by an activation switch. We then have three messages, each with its own activation switch and wait time. The first notification will always be linked to a trigger. In this case, the trigger event is a product being added to cart. When a shopper adds a product to cart, a trigger is sent to our app and the wait time for the first message starts running. The waiting period for the second and third notification is relative to the message that comes before it. If for the second message we select a 23 hour wait time, this will automatically be sent 23 hours after the first message has been fired. Then if the cart turns into an order, the automation funnel is of course interrupted. To check how your notifications will appear on different devices, use the preview selector. The abandoned cart funnel messages will automatically show the main product or variant image. We'll cover message composition shortly. Now let's move on to another automation. The second funnel is for thanking contacts for subscribing, welcoming them to your store and reminding them to return later on. Here, the trigger is the moment a visitor becomes subscribed. You have three messages to kickstart a relationship with your new subscribers and convert them into customers. Additionally, you can communicate with subscribers and grab their attention via custom push campaigns. For this, you'll need to go to the Campaigns tab and create an engaging message from scratch. First, create a campaign, then jump into action by clicking Edit Message. The title is very important as it is probably the main part of the message that will stand out to your subscribers. Also keep in mind to always do your own due diligence before sending out notifications to your customers. Make sure to choose a great hero image and to upload both the mobile and desktop versions to create a user-friendly experience. 
Optionally, you can add a maximum of two buttons with custom text and links. Once you've gone through these steps, check the preview on all platforms, send a test to make sure that your message looks good, then save the changes and go back to the campaign. Proceed to the schedule or send tab and choose a time to send your push notification. Finally, sit back and watch your campaign analytics flow. To make the most of this app, focus on sending personal, concise, and actionable messages. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If we can help with anything, please let us know. Our customer support team is available 24-7. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.